How's it going guys? Uh, today we got a harvest of the Monterey almonds. So we actually already ended up harvesting the non-parel almonds and I was actually out of town for it so completely missed making a video for you guys. And we actually started the Monterey harvest the same day that we started the pistachios. So I've been going back and forth between the pistachios and almonds trying to capture some good videos for you guys. I already finished shaking uh, the Weber almonds. They're doing the sweeping right now. And about halfway through with the Mandel Little almonds. Right now I'm standing in the Osborne Curtis almonds. This right here is a row of Monterey's. The non pearls right next to it are pretty much free of nuts because they've already been shaken and picked up. But we're just gonna kind of walk you through the process today of uh, how to collect the almonds off the trees. So the first process in shaking the nuts off the trees is obviously to shake the trees to get all of the almonds off. You can really tell how much the trees appreciate having all these nuts taken off of them because after they get shaken you can see the branches raising right up after all the weight has been removed. So the shaker has a sweeper up on the front to blow the nuts out of the way so that it doesn't run over any of the ones that it just shook off. And after they're all done, you have a whole bunch of almonds sitting on the ground. Shortly after that, you send the side sweepers over and they will blow off the end of the rows, push in all of the nuts that have fallen out of the end. Then they'll go through and hit every other row, sweeping them towards the middle. After that's all done, you have the big double sweeper coming through and he'll sweep off the other burn and sweep it all into a nice neat pile in the middle. You usually have about three or four of the smaller side sweepers to keep up with one of the big double sweepers. After you have all your almonds in your row in the middle, you send the stick jack through and this just helps remove all of the sticks and other stuff that may be sitting up on top of your row of almonds. It really just picks it up with these little fingers and it tosses it up into a hopper on the back of the stick jack. Once the hopper is full, at the end of one of the rows, the driver of the tractor will dump off the pile of sticks and it'll be picked up later on. After the nuts have had the stick jack run through, then it's time to pick them up. You usually let them sit in the row for close to two weeks to let them dry up a little bit and then you'll come through and pick them up with this big contraption here. So you have your almond pickup machine which vacuums up the almonds and puts them into the hopper right behind it. And as that hopper is being filled, you can see the truck coming up behind it and he'll basically run into the hopper and that will press a button that unloads the hopper into the truck. This way the tractor that's picking up the almonds never has to stop picking up because he'll just keep filling up his hopper then the other cart will come and empty it out and then the truck will go and dump it off at the elevator which we'll see in a little bit. So now our truck has made it over to the elevator 
and this part is pretty simple. All he does is pull up next to it and he will dump over the side of his truck bed, emptying out all the almonds. The elevator also has its own little D sticker, so this is actually the third time that the almonds will be run through some sort of D sticker machine. Conveyor belt takes almonds up to the trucks, and from there they will be hauled off to the hauler. I hope you enjoyed the little insight on how we get the almonds off the trees. Hopefully uh, we'll get this whole coronavirus stuff sorted out with and I can take you guys on a little tour through the huller at some time in the future. But for now, I uh, guess that's all I got for you guys. We'll see you next time.